Hello there everybody, Jose Rodriguez here. One of the most often asked questions besides what printer should I buy is what paper should I use? And that would be like me telling you what car you should buy, what type of shirt you should buy, what kind of food you should eat. There's so many different choices and it's really up to you and what your tastes and likes are. There are so, so many papers that it's impossible for me to even begin to suggest what paper you should get. One of my favorites, and unfortunately it's no longer available, as I've always said, is Red River San Gabriel. This is gorgeous and it prints beautifully on the Pro 100 and the Pro 1 from Canon. It also prints great on any of the Epson newer K3 type printers. But then again, this may not be your cup of tea. It's a luster type paper, very low gloss, beautiful. It does not look plasticky like some of the other papers that are RC coated. But anyway, how to approach this? Well, get yourself some sample packs. Ink press. They have two different sample packs. One I believe is fine art and then one is just their normal everyday papers. Of course, Hannah Mule. There you go. This is a fine art glossy pack. Red River, if you know where to look, has a specialty inkjet media sampler. Stock number 9996. Look that up. This contains some pretty nice uh, specialty papers in there. And this is their regular sample pack. Okay, they have two different sample packs. One is called a photographer's choice sampler, and one is a complete sample pack or complete sample kit. One of these even contains some of the card printing type stock. But anyway, if you have Amazon Prime or, or not, you can go to Amazon and there's so many different types of sample packs that you can order. Of course, the Hannah Mule Fine Art Inkjet Photo Paper Sample Pack. They have 10 sheets, probably two each. So that's that would be five different papers for $12.95. And again, why should you buy a pack of 20 only to find out that you don't necessarily like that paper once you begin to use it? So, you know, it, it, it just serves you better to go ahead and order some of those sample packs and just experiment and see what... What images work better on what papers? And that's really what you have to do. So for example, this Hannah Mule Fine Art Inkjet Photo Paper has matte fiber, matte fiber duo, which I think is a two-sided paper, glossy, luster, and a canvas. So that's one of the types of um, sample packs that you can order. Here's another one from Hannah Mule. This is a matte papers sampling. Let's see what they have. Oh, Albrecht Durer. I can't even pronounce that. Tor Torcon or Torchon. German etching, William Turner, and museum etching. I might try one of those. Sounds interesting. Canson Infinity Art Paper Discovery Pack. This one's a little pricey at $24.56. Let's see what it brings. Let's see what we have here. Contains one sheet of each of the following. Printmaking rag, vellum, museum rag, edition etching rag, photographique, that's rag also, platine fiber rag, barita photographique, photo high gloss, photo gloss, photo satin, photo luster, aquarella rag. Wow, nice, nice assortment. You only get one sheet of those with that so be aware of that and so on and so on let me just quickly read uh, some of the other ones Moab general sampler 30 sheets two each 23.95 Epson signature worthy paper sample pack that's $24.72 you get 14 sheets Hewlett Packard if you want to try some of the Hewlett Packard papers they're there Epson signature worthy another one uh, Hannah Mule Fine Art Glossy Inkjet Sample Pack, 
I think we already looked at that. Anyway, there are so many. Breathing Color, Photo Paper Sample Pack, Pro Master. I've never heard of that one. So there's another sample pack as well. And this has quite a lot of papers for only six, about seven dollars, six ninety-five. So as you can see, it's just a matter. I haven't even gone through all of them. Uh, Legion Paper, Premier Imaging, Canon, Photographics Edge, Photo Insert Card Sample Pack. There you go. For you guys that like to print photo cards or greeting cards. So the, the, the point of all of this is that since no one can tell you what paper is quote unquote best for a given type of image, it's up to you to decide what you like the best. And if you are producing prints for sale for other people, you have to kind of get a little bit of feedback. You kind of push certain papers that really you feel are wonderful for those particular types of images, whether they're portraiture, weddings, event photography, whatever the case is, art images for the wall, for the living room. You go ahead and you try those out and then you create your portfolio using those papers. And that's what you're going to show your client and try to sell what you love the best. When you are using something you love the best, guess what? You do a better job because you tend to spend a lot more time, research and effort to produce the best possible prints from those particular papers that you now like a lot or love a lot. So that is it for me. Like I said, I love that Red River um, Burrita. Basically, it's a, it's a Red River San Gabriel Burrita soft gloss. And unfortunately, it's gone. <clears throat> I'm getting some rolls in next week. It's going to be 17-inch uh, wide. Actually, probably this week. 17-inch wide by 50 feet, which I will then either cut sheets from it and you also use it on my P800. Wonderful stuff. Again, so... Just go on Amazon, on eBay, and look up sample photo paper packs, and you will be presented with a ton of uh, different choices. Try them out, not all at once. Just try one pack from a particular uh, manufacturer. You will be out $20, but that way you will be able to decide in the long run what papers fit your needs the best, and especially for your types of uh, imaging in the type of photography that you do and also the type of printer that you use i should add so all right that is it it was going to be a short one happy printing everybody and don't forget to subscribe like and share thank you bye bye